Hello and congratulations. You just completed your form to order your NetSpain card. You just were here. You entered your name, your address, your city, state, zip, and um, you went ahead and you ordered your card. Now, the moment you click this button right here, order your card, you're going to get an email from NetSpain. It will say, dear, and it'll have your first name. I'll say welcome and thank you for choosing NetSpend for your financial needs. Once you receive and activate your card, so you're going to get your NetSpend card in the mail five to ten business days. And it says it's easy to add money. Okay, now it talks about transferring money from your bank account. We're going to touch on that in a little bit. But it says here, find a reload center near you. So here's an example, one that was close to me at an address that I used to live at close by. I don't live anywhere near this anymore, but here is a close Western Union that I can go ahead and um, load $40 onto my NetSpend card. Once I add that $40 onto my NetSpend card, NetSpend is going to give me $20. Well, NetSpend, I mean, excuse me, Western Union is going to charge me anywhere from $3 to $5 to load that $40 on NetSpend. Well, if you load the card through Western Union and you pay that $5, let's say, NetSpend will add that $20 to your NetSpend card, and now you have $60 to spend anywhere you choose that accepts MasterCard. Okay, but you got to subtract the $5 to, to um, load the card. So now instead of making $20, you're only down to $15. Well, I want to show you how you can actually tie in your bank account. And this is why, so there's no fees at all. So it says here, transfer money from a bank account. So you click here, and it's going to actually open up to NetSpend. And uh, once it opens up, it's going to have the different banks. And, and you'll, you'll see in a moment here, uh, once my computer screen uh, opens up. Oh, let me just log in. So, um, and I'll show you in a moment once we log in. All right, so you can tie in, you're logged into your bank account, your net spend bank account, we'll touch on that in a minute. But you Chase, Bank of America, City, Wells Fargo, Ing. Uh, you can tie in, you can also tie in your PayPal account. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, this is what, what's going to happen. The moment you come here and click this order your card, you should have taken, should have taken your right to net spend here, and they want you to create your online bank account. So here they give you some example usernames that you can use if you want to use those, or you can create your own. So you enter the password you want to use to get into your net spend account. Create a, uh, excuse me, a username. Okay, and then you can create a password retype the password, write this information down somewhere, both your user ID and your password. Then they're going to ask you, okay, certain questions like what's your, fa your pet favorite pet's name, what's your color, your mother's maiden name. You're going to pick one of those questions and put the answer here and click on next step. You're going to go ahead and create your online bank account with NetSpend. Now, once you're logged into your NetSpend, and I'm just going to come back here. I'll log in to my NetSpend, and I'm over here logged in. <clears throat> Once you're logged in, you're going to see this toolbar up here. And we're going to go to Move Money. So you click right here, and then you're going to go to Free Bank Transfers. So we're going to click here. And now when you're here, it says Add Money to your NetSpend MasterCard account directly from most checking and savings accounts. So you're going to log into your PayPal or Bank of America or Wells Fargo, and you're going to um, click on external accounts. So you go to external accounts, you're logged into your online bank account, look for external accounts or transfers, and go into that section within your bank. Now you're going to add net spend to your bank account. You're going to tie the two together. 
Um, and you're going to enter uh, the name of NetSpend's bank, which is MetaBank. So you put in MetaBank for the name of the bank. Then you got to type in the type of uh, the account it is. It's a checking account, so type in checking. Then you're going to add NetSpend's routing number, so you enter that number, and then your NetSpend bank account number, so you enter that. Once you've entered those items, you'll hit enter. Now your bank is going to be tied in together with NetSpend, or they're going to communicate uh, via the internet. NetSpend's going to go ahead, and within two business days, they're going to deposit two small deposits, for example, maybe two cents and five cents. Once you see those two small deposits on your online bank account, like PayPal, Wells Fargo, uh, America, Bank of America, whatever bank that you bank with, and you, you're tied in with your bank account with NetSpend, um, you log into your account, see what those two small deposits are. You'll now log back into your NetSpend account and come to the Move Money and, um, and then come here to Free Bank Transfers. Then you're going to scroll down. You're going to enter those two small deposits and hit Enter on your, on your keyboard. Now your two banks are tied in together. Now it's going to take five to seven business days before you get your NetSpend card in the mail. So if you did this the first day when you ordered your card, you can get your bank tied in together within two or three business days total. So by the time you get your net spend card in the mail, <clears throat> um, you can now call the toll free number on your net spend card and activate it. Log into your online bank account. And once you're logged into your bank account, you're going to transfer $40 from your bank account to NetSpend. Once the $40 is added to your NetSpend account, NetSpend is going to give you $20. So now you just earn $20 and there's no fee. So you keep, keep all $20, the $40 that you entered plus the $20 NetSpend gave you. Now, if you go and make a purchase with your new NetSpend MasterCard, you can make a purchase anywhere that accepts MasterCard. But every time you go to use your NetSpend card, NetSpend is going to charge you a dollar. Now, you, you get two options. You could either, well, you get three. You could either use your NetSpend card and get charged a dollar every time you use it. Or you can pay $9.90, I think it's $9 a month, uh, to NetSpend a month and they waive all those, those fees, those um, transaction fees that you purchase. Or you just added, you just got $60, the $40 that you added to your net spend plus the $20 they gave you. Well, log into your bank account like PayPal, Wells Fargo, Bank of America. And now when you're logged into your online bank, you're gonna transfer $60, the $40 that you added to NetSpend, plus the $20 they gave you. And you're going to transfer $60 from your NetSpend back into your bank account. The $60 will be added. No fees occurred to you at all. You get to keep all $60, the $40 that you added to your NetSpend, or added to, yeah, to your NetSpend, you just transfer it back into your bank account, including the $20 that NetSpend gave you without any fees. And now you can spend the money as you choose. Here's another great idea. You just got your NetSpend. You just loaded it. You got $20. You transferred all $60 back into your bank account. Now you have a NetSpend um, splash page yourself. And let me show you. Come to Features, and you'll go to Refer a Friend. Okay, and there's two ways you can refer a friend here. And I'm just waiting for my computer. Um, and I'll show you the two different ways that you can refer a friend. One, um, you can actually enter your name, their name, the first name, last name, their email, and your relationship. So let's say you're married. And let's say this is a gentleman here, and you just ordered your NetSpend card. Well, you enter your wife's first name, her last name, her email, and you just this drop-down box is put in my spouse or partner, okay? Then go ahead and submit. 
Now, your spouse will get an email to register through you, okay? So now your, your spouse, in this case, we're using this example, your wife. So now your wife, she goes ahead and she uh, ties in her net spend card. She orders a card through you. She ties in her net spend card with your same bank account, okay? Um, she gets a net spend card in the mail five to seven business days later. She now goes ahead and transfers $40 from your bank account, your and her bank account, um, the same $40 that you used, and transfer that $40 over. Once the $40 is in net spend, net spend is going to give her $20. So now she just got $60. She now transfers $60 from her net spend back into your bank account. So between the two of you, um, what's going to happen is once that $20, that $40 is in her net spend card, not only did she get $20, but so did you. So when she transfers that $60 back over from her net spend, the $40 that you guys both used to load your net spend, plus the $20 she earned, and the $20 that you now have in your net spend, you can transfer that $20 back into your bank account. So between the two of you, you just earned $60. How many couples do you know that would love to earn $60 for free? It's free money, and it doesn't cost you a penny ever with this system. You can earn $20 over and over and over again. So you've got a great way to earn, uh, 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 to supplement an income or to create your own income working from home. And it doesn't cost you a penny. Well, I hope this has helped. Congratulations and let's go and make money.